So I wanted to <clears throat> ask you about how you write because I think everybody's. I, I'm been. I mean, I've been a writer my whole life too. Right. And everybody's technique is is unique. Right. Um. I know you. You hit open mics. I hit the mics. Yeah. Yeah. How do you How do you actually write a joke? Like, do you have a, a specific process that you do? Do you go back to? How I can. Me saying it is is probably different from what's going on in my mind, mm-hmm. but I, the punchline is first for me. Okay, you work backwards. The, yeah, I work backwards. The punchline is the punchline, and that, my whole, like, that's just me. Mm-hmm. I, I have always working backwards. Mm-hmm. Uh, the I, the punchline. Okay. So and the punchline is usually just a reference point, mm-hmm. and my reference point. I just make my reference point funny, mm-hmm. like and 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 that's and all the rest of it is just. Me making it make sense to everybody else. How to get there? Yeah, how do I, right. how do you get to this? How do I get to this point to where though people mm-hmm. say, okay, I can see how the, I can. It, it makes sense mm-hmm. to be for it to be funny because a lot of times I go with a mic and I, I I'm not organized <laughs> and I'm just spitting out punchline <laughs> and it's funny but some some things have to make sense to people before mm-hmm. it, it can be and especially if it's a uh, a delicate subject mm-hmm. like you talking about race mm-hmm. or you talking about. Uh, sexuality or some, It has to mix yeah. It has to be appropriate Or it's just like You just have like uh, Just ruffling feathers you just ruffling feathers What's yeah. that thing called When people just Shout out curse words <coughs> uh, Tourette's Tourette's Like <laughs> Tourette's. it just sound like, A lot Those of my yeah, yeah, yeah A lot of my jokes Would sound like Tourette's If I didn't like Really mm. like Set them up I right Yeah <laughs> I, I started I started doing comedy uh, As a result of Trying to practice Editing film mm. I started doing um, I started doing uh, my man listen videos and the the whole point of a man listen video for me was to write a three act story Mm -hmm. in under a minute and they ended up being funny Mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of my homies was like yo you should try to do some stand up and shit so I gave it a shot but the way I, I think the way I started writing my jokes is I went back to how I wrote rhymes um, it's similar. I start. I started out with, if I thought it was funny enough to make a Facebook post, I just I would just write it down. Mm-hmm. I stopped posting everything to Facebook. Mm-hmm. Everything, you know, and I come up with more material. Um, since we started doing a lineup every month, mm-hmm. every month we did the show, I had a new five ten minute set. Yeah. Every every show. And that's rare because a lot of people. A I lot saw, of people don't do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much is helping me. That I don't that I don't like you know work on a set and build it and I I've, I've done that more recently. Yeah. Um, my Same. last my last couple of shows I found myself more and the show we just did Thursday I did like twenty minutes yeah. of stuff that I put together from a couple of from a couple of sets. Right. Um. <clears throat> But basically, it, it's almost it's almost the same thing. Like I would think of something that would be funny for Facebook, yeah. which is basically a punchline, right? And yeah. the same thing, you, you kind of work backwards to a premise. Um, I think my material is a little bit unique mm-hmm. because of what I do for a living, right? And I have, I have that stuff as a reference yeah. that a lot of cats around here don't have, right? There ain't too many other cop comedians in there. That's area. what makes you you, yeah. So and I, I uh, it was Lump Lump Hamilton. Uh, said to me after watching me perform um, out in Rockledge at Justin Lamar's thing. Oh. He had a show out there. I was uh, there. I went there. I'm talking about the anniversary? It wasn't the anniversary. It was oh. like it was like my second time performing. Right. Um, I had just done Punchline when we graduated comedy college. Okay. Yeah, I had just do. done Punchline like two days before that. Right. So this is like my second showcase. Yeah. And uh, the set I did, like I, I did well, but Lump, Lump pulled me aside. He was like, yo, you need to feed into your career material, yeah. like, cause nobody else could do that. Nobody gonna talk about that. Nobody else could do that. Yeah. I don't go nowhere hearing my jokes. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're not going. You're not really going. So hear when I you. when I started feeding into that some more, I, it was it was just became that much easier to write. Yeah. And because I was trying to do a new set every every time we did our show, I was writing every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was writing every day. I still I still write something every day. Um. Even if it's even if it's just a punchline right. or just a premise, yeah. I write something every right. day, yeah, and and it, it 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 helps. One of the reasons why I don't <clears throat> I don't uh, like you were saying that I don't hit the mics, right. but when I hit the stage, I seem prepared. Mm-hmm. I I have I had to get past it, um, 
talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I get had it. to get past talking to myself. Yeah. Um, but again, I just kind of leaned on what I've been doing my whole life with rhyming. Mm-hmm. If I was writing a rhyme, I would have had no problem walking around the house just spitting a verse until I had it down. That's smart. And that's what I had to do mm-hmm. with my jokes. I, I record myself. I'll say it over and over again. I'm in the gym, headphones on. I'm just turning the recorder on while I'm working out. Mm-hmm. And I just say it and it records. I listen back to it and I chop out some of the fat. Yeah. And then do it again. Yeah. And then chop out some of the fat and do it again. And by the time, by the day of the show, I know the joke by heart. Yeah. And I've chopped out most of the fat. Exactly. But I, it was, it, that was really weird to me at first with jokes. Because I really just felt like I was talking to myself. Yeah. And it was like, I was not okay. I was like, Essentially why? Essentially, you are. You you are, yeah. and, and then you're <laughs> laughing at yourself, yeah, like, yeah. or leaving room for other people to laugh, or anticipating what other people are laughing. And you could add on, like I've done that, like that show before cleanish. Mm. I did that, so I did like, and it's crazy because I do it on a, like I'm not as disciplined with it, mm. but when I do do it, I do perform better. So I get what you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, de- it definitely helps out because I don't I don't have I don't have the time to get out to the mics like that, mm-hmm. um, and I don't I don't I don't I'm not crazy. About performing for like six other people, mm-hmm. it don't like that don't feel right to me. Mm-hmm. Like I've been performing my whole life, right? And I don't know it with music. I could perform in front of a small crowd because I have my music, mm-hmm. and I'm into my music. I don't even need you to feel me. I could just, right. <laughs> I could just go. I don't yeah. care. You know what I mean? You could dive into what you're performing, but you can't really do that with jokes. Like you, you need that back. You need that back, or you, yeah, or or it's not happening, right? You know what I'm saying. Some so, people, some people can. I saw some people. It all depends. I don't, I don't know. It, I, I just, I don't know. I yeah. so like empty rooms or rooms of just comedians, uh, which is every open mic, which is which is most <laughs> open, most open mics. <laughs> like, you know yeah. what I mean. So that kind of stuff, it 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 takes the fun out. It's not fun for me, right? That's why we do the lineup. That's why we do the lineup because. We didn't have to. We don't have to worry about getting on somebody else's mic, mm-hmm. or whether or not they got a crowd or, or anything like that. We know we can get busy. We'll put on our own show. There'll mm-hmm. be an audience. There'll be you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And and that's enough for me. Yeah. That's enough for me. I don't hunger. I don't hunger for the stage like a lot of comedians. Right. Um. Like I could. I could. I could take it or leave it. Right. To be totally honest. Right. Once I. Once I learned the science of it. And develop Like learn the art form And figure out how to do it And I can do it Whenever I want to mm-hmm. It's kind of like I can take it or leave it Right I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't need to be out yeah. Hitting four or five mics In a night Like that don't yeah. That don't do it for me I've done that So I must I'm, I think I'm one of those comedians. I definitely yeah. done four or five I'm, In New York though hmm. I've never done Four or five mics in Philly But I'm definitely It might be different It might yeah. be different In another town yeah. But here in Philly, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't yeah. need to be out doing yeah. that all night. I don't have, I don't have. That's that true. Me. I don't. I haven't hit a mic in about like February, but it's a slow month for me. I haven't, mm. I haven't hit any mics like that. Mm. So I definitely see how I get, I get where you're going. Yeah, with. It's, it's, yeah. It's, and yeah. and to a lot of comedians, it's like, well, like I, I could see myself walking into a mic. Yeah. And them looking at me like I ain't seen you in three months. Right. That's like yeah. <laughs> why, why would I put you on? You, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. I don't I don't go to a mic expecting to get on either. Right. You know. So I that that's I don't have I don't have that drive. Yeah. I do it. I enjoy it when I once I get up there. It's a whole other yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 It's a whole yeah. other thing. Yeah. But getting me up, getting me out to get up there yeah. is the challenge. That's yeah. That's with me too. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't know. It's, I got so much other stuff going on. It's yeah. like, but do I need to do that tonight? Yeah. yeah. I, t- I told myself, it's crazy because I'm like doing all these different type of writing. Yeah. I told my, this is me. Like, I told myself, you got to do this for a year straight. You can't rear off and then start trying to do music, mm-hmm. and do comedy for a year straight and mm-hmm. see how it's going to be. So I'm, March 10th will be a year. Mm-hmm. This month will be a year. So. I'm just I'm just uh finishing it out with, with podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. little little other stuff. Cause I like I said, I wanna I, I really wanna I, I get where you're going where you say like the stage is not everything for you. Cause the stage mm-hmm. is definitely it's a part mm-hmm. of it, but it's not everything for me. Like I, I would definitely take an opportunity to be in somebody's writing room. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right for somebody like Yeah. You you're talking about Twitter, cause 
I was told that Twitter is the way into that world. Um, if you could, if you can amass a following on Twitter, right? Um, like with you know keeping up on the trending topics and mm-hmm. being funny about that kind of stuff, like that's what. That's what you point back to when you go into those meetings. Right. Like, you know, what, what do you what have you worked on? Well, here's my Twitter feed. Right. That that's that's how you Mission. get in the writing rooms. Yeah. I just went viral on Facebook. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna like forty thousand shares. For what? Which one? I uh, I made a post, I said, uh after you after you dirt sneeze, uh <laughs> That's between you and God. I done did all, I did all I did, I did all I could do for you. Yeah, basically. okay. And I is you never I never expecting that to go viral. Yeah. And then it's so it went viral so crazy. So that's what made me be like, I'm gonna be on Facebook. But I mm. this is the second time I heard Twitter being brought up, so yeah. I have to get back on Twitter. It's just so hard. It's hard. It's like it's the hard stock market. I, it, <laughs> I have to remember to even share <laughs> yeah. links to my yeah. podcast yeah. to my Twitter because I don't go there for nothing. I'm gonna get though. back on there though. Yeah, I feel I know I'm cheating myself yeah. when it comes to that. I know I am, but it's just like I, I don't. Give a I'm shit. gonna get back on there because <laughs> yeah. I definitely wanna, I definitely wanna like diversify my comedy portfolio. <laughs> Absolutely, because like, I'm the podcast I'm about to come out with. Yeah, all these different things. It's just. There's so many avenues. There's no reason not to take yeah. advantage of all of them. Yeah. Especially because they're free. Yeah. Like, they don't, none of they it costs all, yeah. you nothing. It don't cost you it's nothing to blow up time. on Twitter. It's just time. Time. Yeah. And yeah. you got to get that. I only got like 600 followers on Twitter right now, also. Okay. That's not a lot. You got more than me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm but, almost certain you got more than me. Like, about, your, about the way you write, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, what I think, so in Philadelphia, this is only Philadelphia. I don't know. I've been to New York a lot of times, mm-hmm. but. I don't really know, not enough to really like, you know, dissect their scene. But I realize the Philadelphia scene is what makes you a very comedian mm. is like you have people who are just natural writers and they just want to just start doing comedy on their own, mm. and people who went to school mm. to become uh, they went to the uh, Philadelphia Comedy College mm-hmm. or a different type of college, and those those two crowds kind of don't generally hang with each other. Like well, if you're uh-huh. if, if you're like a a, a just natural writer and you just if you're a self taught comedian mm-hmm. a lot of self taught comedians don't really hang with comedians who like went to school and it's not like a, a bias thing it's just because you have people in your class mm-hmm. that you just hang out with yeah, and, they, and they become your circle they yeah. become your circle and yeah. then you have pe- and then you have people who just come in on their own mm-hmm. and it's just like <laughs> you come like for me like I came in feeling like everybody had clicks mm-hmm. and it was just like it, it, like and that's in every genre in mm-hmm. Philadelphia. Like everybody, like when I came in, like it was like everybody was trying to cr- recruit me to their team. It was like, hey, you want to be with this group? You want to be with that group? You want to be with this group? And I'm just like, oh, I don't even know. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how long that's been going on. That's it's like I feel like I almost feel responsible for that. Okay, you might have you might have started it. I, I don't know. I feel like I feel because I I don't I know some comedians. Like I've known some a couple of comedians. For a couple of years, uh, my man Nate, the landlord. Yeah, uh, I saw him on posters. That's my bro. Yeah. He's uh, he's actually president of my motorcycle club. I know mm-hmm. Nate almost tw- uh, say twenty one years now, uh-huh. and he's been doing comedy for most of that time. Throughout his time as a comedian, he built a, he built a little team uh, with Miss Darkchild. Uh, I saw her on Top Twitter. Flight. Like they've been they've been going at it for a couple of years, but they are the only crew. That I was familiar with mm-hmm. before I started trying to do some comedy. Okay. When I started doing comedy, uh, I linked up with Mike Salvi and Jack mm-hmm. and Shay and Rich. We became Ha Ha for Hire. Right. It was it was very organic. There was no hey guys like we need to team up so that we could get we could blow up all crazy. It was never that. It was we were we were in the comedy college together, yeah. and and we just kind of. Just kind of well, click. I was there. I was doing there doing the instruction uh, at, at, yeah. at that group. I was like, because when I was first starting, y'all was just. I don't know if y'all were. We were like y'all was still in school, right? We was we were still in the class. Yeah. Y'all was still in the class. Yeah. So I I remember uh, getting invited. Like uh, Mike Sally would invite me invite mm-hmm. me to all these things. But around this time, I was bombing. So I, like, I need to get my shit together before. <laughs> I, you know how I be when you well, you probably don't know, but like, I, I was bombing. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, man, fuck that. I got to get my shit together. But that's how. That's how. That's how we all kind of formed together. It was just kind of like, yo, we're going to be out. And Mike, those guys are friendlier than I am. Yeah. They would invite people around. Yeah. Yeah, like me, I would just kind of like, maybe maybe I'll show up. I'm still that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, they, they, but, I would say y'all the, y'all like the, uh, the more genuine people that I've met hmm. in the game. Not to try to say other people aren't. Other people aren't. Yeah. It's just, it's not as much as like, 
I get around a lot of people, and like you know how you say that thing, you like he oh, he couldn't have been doing comedy mm-hmm. for only a year. Yeah. But I really had, but a, yeah. a, a couple of people. I, now that you say that, a lot of people might feel that They're way. Probably, probably thinking they, they that. might be just like, oh, it's just like, <laughs> and, and these people who've been around the game for years, and they're just like, I I will be cool, and I'll continue like I'll just be me, mm-hmm. and I won't say we don't be cool no more, but yeah. I just. I mean, every, yeah. people, people show their true colors. Yeah. And everybody ain't meant to be around each other. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But like I said, I don't know if I don't know how much of that whole comedy crew uh, aspect has been around prior to us. Because I I saw like crews coming together after people saw us kind of hanging yeah. out together, yeah. and it was just like I don't know. I don't I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't know. It's definitely a thing. Well. I think it is. Yeah. You guess you people see something that works, and they yeah they they, they, they like, emulate oh, it. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna do that too. But uh, I think it's been a thing because people were trying to recruit me before I met you, like okay. before I met you, or like people were they were they just weren't as organized as y'all. Okay. Y'all were, but people were like a lot of groups I see now surfacing. Hmm. I mean, I remember this person tried to like mm-hmm. yo recruit me in some type of way, yeah. and some people are still farming. Some people like. Mm-hmm. If I see them come out with a group tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Cause I remember when they were like, "Oh, we trying to do this." Like you know, like yeah. if somebody has a mic, if somebody runs their own mic, they're yeah. trying to they're, they're trying, trying to organize. <laughs> they're trying to organize it. No, you're doing you you started doing your own showcase pretty. You started doing a showcase before we did. Right. No, right. no, 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 no. It was it was after us. Yeah. But uh, considering considering the that you've been the time period, yeah. like you've been doing you've been doing comedy a little bit less time than we have you went right at it yeah because because i was around y'all because like we're in to credit how i for hire that's what really made me step my game up okay because i was it's like standing on the shoulders of giants and mm. you know even though y'all start y'all just started but yeah. y'all have more of a like understanding of the game than i had mm. so i like after i did that show and i killed it you was there uh mm. at the uh with the, the mic that preach has that the he power had line. power yeah. line. Yeah. So after I was there, uh, Chase Sasa, she hit me up. Then I hit up Mike, and then they like they took me out. Mm-hmm. So I went out uh, to on Monday with them, and it was like three mics I hit. I hit up uh, Ray's Boom, Ray's uh, Birthday Lounge. Mm-hmm. I hit up uh, some other spot, and then I hit up the Comedy Drum. Okay. I bombed all three of the mics. <laughs> I bombed all three of the mics, <laughs> but <laughs> but but. Uh, I learned the, I learned I learned how to I learned the pace of things and how to so then me talking to Mike when Mike used to come pick me up mm-hmm. we would talk while we going to get everybody else mm-hmm. and he would tell me we got this going on we got to get this going on mm-hmm. so in my head I felt like me starting out like my first month I'm thinking in my head like this is what you have to do right so everything I'm doing right now is because of something the precedent was already set. Oh, you got to do your show. You got to have your own mic. You got to have this. So mm-hmm. this is what I thought you had to do. I didn't know that other people. <laughs> other people yeah. Yeah. So that's that's why I was just doing it. And I had the opportunity. Uh-huh. Like, And I also naturally know how to do events. Okay. Because I, uh, I was going to ask you, have you have you done this? I'm in a fraternity. So You're Q, right? Yeah, I'm a Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at my school, I was, uh, they call it the bosses, but mm-hmm. we call it the bosses, but it's the president. I was the president of my uh, chapter. Okay. So I would have to do programs and all these different types of events so mm-hmm. I just yeah. knew, I knew it. how to do it I, yeah, I, I had, had it already yeah, so then right. I would just like when I'm going to these shows I'm just like oh this yeah. is just like you're doing an event it's, you the, just, it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same thing so yeah. I so seven months in when I when we did the cleanage I was like seven eight months in wow and fuck you bro <laughs> I was like, <laughs> good I was lord like, man I was like seven eight months in and you know what's crazy about it mm-hmm. I knew that I kind of like I was I was I knew that I was moving, mm. that I was accelerating fast mm-hmm. because of the way people start treating me. Mm-hmm. Afterwards, it was just like, "Fuck you! What yeah. the fuck are you doing?" Like it yeah. was just kind of like, I, I, I thought we were supposed to be doing this. Like, nah, man. I, I thought we were nah, supposed you to be doing drawing, this. Bro. Yeah, right. You and, drawing. and it's crazy because I feel like my 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 uh, I wouldn't even call it rise. I'm nowhere near where mm. I feel like I can potentially be if I keep going. But mm. my like, everybody knows me now in a short period of time yeah. because of these showcases I'm yeah. putting on. But it, it was just like put the fire under a lot of people's asses like mm-hmm. and a lot of people who been around for a long time mm-hmm. that I didn't know now they're starting to do their yeah, own which, to do which, their which, thing. Yeah. which is a good thing yeah. which is a good thing but I kind of feel like in the back of my head I'm just like 
it's like all right. Yeah. It's like you. It's like your little brother getting your license before yeah, you. Yeah, and you're like, what the absolutely, fuck about? Absolutely, <laughs> it's, like, it's funny, man, because I learned a lot about myself that night, the night I did your show. Um, I was having a rough night. I was having a rough night. I almost never get to get on stage in a comedic mindset. Right. I almost never, ever, ever get to get on stage like walking in. Feeling good, ready to be funny. It's always a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah. That night in particular was was rough. Like I had to get I had like doctor's appointments with my kids. I had worked over that in the morning. Uh, the traffic was all crazy. We couldn't find y'all. Yeah. It was it was like like all the way until the minute I got on the stage. It was just like I don't fucking feel like this. Listen, and I went up and I had one of my best performances. That'd be the best nights. It was it was absolutely crazy, and then then it was even weirder because like we got in there and there was no mic. There's no yeah. <laughs> like There's everybody no was sitting at these round tables. I was yeah. like, what am I? What am I about to yeah. do? Yeah. And it ended up being so much fun. Yeah. And everybody did so well. I was yeah. just like, all right, okay, all right, cool, no problem. I, it was like the complete opposite of uh, this past week. We yeah. we did the lineup and it yeah. was like we we were celebrating my birthday. Mm-hmm. And Happy birthday also. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Um, I went into that with like no pressure. Dude. And then that made me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. I know my material. Yeah. All these people are showing up. Yeah. Everything's working out. I ain't, ain't nobody bother me today. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then I went up, I had a good I had a good show again. But yeah. it was just like like you never know. You never comedy is all trial and error. Yeah. Like you never know when you're gonna like me, like every time I had, because after that show, that mm-hmm. amazing show I had, mm-hmm. I bombed that Monday <laughs> at an open mic. And that's a reoccurring thing. Yeah. Like I always like, after a show, I don't know if it's a timing thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, when you do a show, you more like, I got time. I can be up here mm-hmm. until somebody, you do a the open mic, is more pressure. You get three minutes, five, yeah. you never know. Yeah, you got to get right into it. You you, there right. is no get comfortable. Yeah, there no, is no introduce yourself. Yeah. It's, it's boom. Right. Yeah. So, like, that show. What I, what I learned about that show, but the no mic thing, I, I don't do mics at my shows. Oh no, no, I don't do mics at my I, shows. I tell you what, I liked it. Yeah, I don't do I mics at my it. shows. It was it was a little off putting at first. I, I forget who was performing before me. Um, it wasn't Che. It wasn't. It was uh, Sam. No, it wasn't Sam. It was a girl. Nah, it was a guy. Oh, Matt Butler. I don't even think it was Matt. It wasn't Matt. I don't. Somebody who was performing. Ken Jones. Ken Jones. Yeah, Ken Jones. He was a little far back. Yeah. And I, I was just like, why is he standing so far away? It's like he wanted to be up on the stage because there was a stage behind us. Right. It's like he wanted to be up on the stage. The natural inclination. The was, natural inclination. Yeah. And but it was just like if you if you just took five steps forward, like yeah. right into the crowd, it was a whole different show. I told show. people that. Yeah, it was a whole different yeah. show. I like I actually I actually liked performing without the microphone. It's like a pit. Like it, you did you don't you inside of like you you can't a lot of times you're on stage. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like you get a chance to like, even though it's still more like you you, it's still the tension is still there. It's still mm-hmm. like the nervous is still there. But when you in there, you mm-hmm. inside of that pit is just it's way more interpersonal. And yeah. without the mic, it's more like a it's more like a Broadway show, yeah. like a one man like a one man show, yeah. John Leguizamo type of thing. Yeah. And I like at first I was like, mm. yeah. But what once I realized that the 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 main factor was going to be. Just stepping up, yeah. Because the crowd was with it; they were yeah. ready. It didn't seem awkward to them. And as long as they ain't put off, then just go out there and do your thing. Yeah, I, I thought it was cool afterwards. I did uh, a sh- I did an open mic at uh the, the uh hey I'm about to butcher this name. It's, it's on <laughs> South Street. Okay. Uh, what is it called? This is a mic on Second and South. I'm sorry. Hmm. Patty Wax. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Patty Wax, and one day they they have them usually have a mic, hmm. and then one day. The mic went out, yeah. and it was uh, it was these two uh, it was these two black comedians there, black woman comedians, you know, mm. black chicks, they know how to project. Yeah. So it's it was uh, the girl you all having your lineup, you all having your show this Wednesday. Uh, she's like theater. Sheree. Sheree, she was on there. She yeah. killed it with no okay. mic. And the other girl who, who, who uh, she has a little comedy show. The uh, she gives updates of where all the shows at. Oh, Monet, Jay Monet. Jay Monet. Yeah, they always together. Yeah, yeah so they. Yeah. You see one of them, you see them both. Yeah, so yeah. they didn't know about the mic. And they killed it. And I'm the type of comedian, if I, I, I perform to my. Uh, 
opposition. We wasn't mm-hmm. opposition, but I performed to whoever's there. Mm-hmm. So if I see you kill it and I see you kill it, you see it, I'm gonna kill you it. You play up. Yeah, I Damn. play up. I'm gonna kill it. Which Damn. is why I, I think I did so good in my first showcase. Well, that wasn't my first showcase, but my, uh, the showcase that I, that I uh, cleanish okay. one because you went, Sam went, mm-hmm. Ken Jones went, everybody did. Everybody great. did. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. I have to like. Yeah. It's like NASCAR. Yeah. You, know, you get that draft. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I had to close the show. That was the last one yeah. I had to close the show. Damn. I wasn't even going to perform. I was going to host at first. You weren't going to perform? No, I wasn't going to perform. I was going to host. You did. you did great. Uh, yeah. Che was like, no, perform. Yeah. Che was like, you need to perform. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, absolutely. Because Che already was like the first person who uh, knew I was funny. Mm-hmm. Like she was the first like person who was just like, who, who caught on to it. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, he's funny. Like, and so she would invite me everywhere. Nobody would know. And she would be like in the back. Uh, right, just waiting. Like, right, wait, he gonna go. <laughs> like, she, she, I saw her one time. Sick you on yeah, everybody else. Yeah, I, I actually saw her one time. Like if, if you, you gotta watch her when she, when I'm performer. I, I start because mm-hmm. I would naturally. Mm-hmm. She be in the background like, she be in the background like, oh he gonna kill it, he gonna kill it, <laughs> and then when I kill it, she'd be like. I told y'all, I told y'all, because people don't, people don't like. You know how the comedy scene is. Yeah. A lot of people, like somebody like you, yeah. you don't hit open mics because of your job. But a lot of people just don't hit open mics because they doing showcases or whatever, mm-hmm. or they always out. So mm-hmm. it was just me, me seeing that show. Long story short, uh, I learned that I'm better without a mic, and I learned that a show can be way better. Because for me, I'm animated. Mm-hmm. I move mm-hmm. when I talk. Yep. When yep. I when I when I so. I can't do that and hold them. That yeah, it it, it could it could be a hindrance, especially if you feel like you need to be if if that helps you get loose. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because you need to do whatever you can to draw your crowd in and yeah. and, and draw that attention and draw that energy. Yeah, and if, I mean if you do it better without a mic, then so be it. Yeah. I could do it with a mic too because uh-huh. it's most most shows have mics, uh-huh. but but that makes it it makes your show different. Too. Yeah, it makes your show a lot different. Yeah, because uh-huh. you can't like. I tell people before him, before when y'all came, I didn't tell y'all. But now mm. I just be like, just like I know, it's, <laughs> it's no mic. Mm. So I don't know if you used to like if you do vocal exercises, mm. but you should definitely be sure, do, yeah. you should do vocal exercises yeah. if you're gonna do this show. I've really, I've really, really enjoyed it. I've mm. really enjoyed it. Mm. Once, once, once it got going, I realized mm. what it was gonna take. Yeah. It was, it was actually really cool. And yeah. it's getting, it's getting. Bigger and more organ. I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting like. I know it's getting bigger because yeah. I ain't been invited back. Yeah, no, you can come back. Uh, you can uh, come uh, back. I can, <laughs> I got your invite show. myself. <laughs> yeah. your so I'm, listen. This is how I got put him on the game. Bro. This is this is where like and me when I if I hang with somebody I'm gonna pick up like this is another reason how I got. Now I'm getting more and more like uh I was hanging out with Ken Jones mm-hmm. and Ken Jones is like, you gotta just go to people mics. Yeah. Like like how we go to open mic, yeah. you go to people's shows. Be like yeah. you gotta think about it. Think about y'all showcase. How many? How many? I haven't been invited to y'all showcase. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I ain't know if you was gonna pull. I ain't know if you was gonna pull that one over. But go ahead. All right. Yeah, Touche. Think, think about think about think about y'all showcase. What? How much things now? I haven't been there, but how many things fall apart on the the day of the showcase? How mm-hmm. many people sitting on be late? How yeah. many that? So if you want, would you do? Would you really mind if another comedian comes up to you and be like, "Yo, can I do five minutes?" Yeah, no, 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 no. Go ahead, cause yeah. I'm be somebody fifteen minutes late. Yeah, yeah. I need ten minutes to do, set right. up this. Or so I might just decide not to perform. That. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. once once I once I learned that, and this is crazy, cause he told me that, but I I was I was doing that before. Mm-hmm. That's cause I was another. Uh, why people think I'm a ringer because. I was doing showcases when I first mm. started doing open mics. I didn't, know, I didn't know, I didn't have anybody. I didn't have that you fear. You didn't know you wasn't supposed yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have that fear. Nobody instilled that fear in me that Word. to not do that. Mm. And like I was, so I, like they was having shows in my building. I live next door to a building that has a showroom. Mm-hmm. So I was go to the like, yo, can I perform five minutes there? And he'd That's be like, yeah. he, they was like, yeah. And I, I, I went there and I killed. I bombed. Yeah. One, real bad one time, but every time I do a showcase, I was I would ask. Mm-hmm. And they had a, 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 a music mic up the streets called Uptown Open Mic. Okay, I went in there and I performed, and they was I, loving me. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. and they was loving, and they uh, it was like you want to host. <laughs> Word. And I was hosting, so I was hosting for like every for like three months straight. I was hosting that's every week, every. And what they don't what they, what, you, what I learned about in hosting and mm-hmm. comedy is that's a. That's a tool you can use to sharpen up your craft. Absolutely. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that though. So yeah. I'm just learning. Them little them short shots. 
Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like you said, with the open mics, you only got three minutes. Yeah. As a host, you shouldn't be up there like rambling on anyway. So yeah, right. you get you a couple of minutes, say something funny, and then bring the next person up, exactly. keep the energy up. Yeah, absolutely. And then, but you, that's mic time and then yep. your belt. That's absolutely. mic time. You get three hours of you get yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you go yeah. when you come back you get service, a good editor you can put a, you can put a special together <laughs> exactly 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 yes. all for that yeah. so it just all these things that I'm stumbling on and it's, it all happened with, with me just not being not being afraid mm-hmm. to put myself out there and going to New York like a lot of comedians have yet to go to New York yet, and they've been doing mm-hmm. it for years I've been to New York I, I haven't been you gotta go yeah, to New York and the yeah. same strategy I used in New York I used I was it was this guy his name is uh Nathan Orton. Okay. He's a guy. He moved to uh, New York. He's still there. He's still on the ground. But I went to this. I went to the comedy spot, and he was like, oh, "I'm about to go here." I'm like, "What's the next mic?" And I followed. Like I follow him. Yeah. I shadowed him for a whole day. Like I, I, I like I shadowed Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Shadowed him for like a whole day. By the time we did my head spin, we did like five, six mics. I'm like, "Yo, that's crazy." So now every time I go there, that's that in that's my mind do, yeah. is. That's what I have to do. Right. If I don't hit five or six mics when I go to New York, yeah, I remember Mike, Mike and them. They went up there one weekend and did the same thing. Um, I yeah. was I wasn't able to join, but I mean it is something that you have to do. It, we could, I mean, we could tell jokes here forever, yeah, and never go nowhere, right? You know what I mean. So at the at the end of the day, you have it's just like any other thing. Yeah. You have to put it out as far as you possibly can, right? And getting up there and getting into that community it, is is what you have to do. Listen, because. My jokes that was working in Philadelphia, mm-hmm. they wasn't really they working wasn't. like that. New- <laughs> <laughs> right. they wasn't really work- my first time, I'm like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? And then, my the second time I went, mm-hmm. I started crafting my jokes a little bit better. I, I started. So, going, what, what do you think was missing? What wasn't connected? Uh, riffs. Mm-hmm. Riffs in New York, they do a lot of riffing. Okay. They do a lot of riffing and a lot of working in the room, mm-hmm. being in the being in. The, and mm-hmm. the Philly is like that too, but it's like mm-hmm. it's a lot of like. Quick, you gotta be quick. Mm-hmm. You gotta be quick, and it's—I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I just start. You know how you? I just started adapting to it. So now I'm getting laughed. When I first went there, it was—it was okay. Mm-hmm. Then the second time, it was—they like a lot of, they like a lot of uh, inappropriate jokes. Okay. Like a lot of they like a lot of inappropriate like. like Rich Owen. They like yeah, hey, Rich like somebody like Rich Owen would like thrive down there. Like yeah. it was a guy, cause you know, being black sitting in the comedian, being a black comedian sitting in the audience, you usually the only black guy in the audience. Right. A lot of times, right. you be hearing some wild shit. Yeah, that some shit that like if you brought another black person there, they would probably punch they the comedian. Not, yeah, for, yeah, they might not appreciate yeah. it. The way <laughs> not, yeah. But it's just like no I'm not, not not necessarily I appreciate. It. I just be like okay, and I just let it roll off of me. Yeah. It's comedy. Yeah. A lot of shit, a lot of stuff be raw mm. when you first, cause a lot of stuff that I say. Your, your initial thought is usually the most inappropriate thing. Hmm. And a lot of people don't edit their shit. That's <laughs> 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 how you you edit your shit with the right. open mic. Like, open, right. ain't no better editor than than, than uh, audience. Right. That's what's up. Yeah. I gotta get up there. I have, yeah. I haven't had the opportunity. I, I need to. Sundays and Mondays are the best day. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's weird. Yeah. The only thing I would say about old, open mics in New York is. You will if you want to hit if you want to hit the maximum amount of mics you will have to pay some money. Oh really? Some mics will be five dollars, like oh, okay. not five dollars. Like you you have to. Uh, it's free to get in, mm-hmm. but New York is a hustle. So mm-hmm. all right, this is the this is they they, they uh this is one mic that they uh they have a list, and you had to pay five dollars to sign a list, but it's free to get in the bar. Mm-hmm. And the the way they, the, the deal they got with the bar is every comedian that goes up has to buy a drink. Hmm. So you know how in Philly Like you can just go there And drink yeah. some water And yeah. just like No You go there You yeah, go up man. You gotta buy a drink <laughs> Maybe that's why Our mics keep folding <laughs> They ain't turning No profit yeah. I, I, I don't know We don't what, do we, what is our mic I think uh, If you're performing You get it for free At our mic We do a uh, comedy night Of voice on Wednesdays yeah. um, <clears throat> You get in that for free if you're performing, otherwise it's like five dollars. Right. And we got specials and whatnot at the bar. Yeah. You haven't been over there yet. You got I'm some. coming. I'm gonna come up. You coming this I'm week? Gonna I'm gonna. Uh, no, cause I don't have my son. Yeah. My, next week probably. Okay. It's so is you see is up here. It took me the minute. I yeah. So hey, I like I didn't know you. I didn't know you was catching the bus until yeah. you told me you was getting on the bus to come over just now. I just been yeah. hustling. I'm I'm not I'm not working right now, so I'm just okay. like all right, I'm gonna be as productive as I can be. Mm-hmm. And now I'm on a podcast uh, podcast kick. Okay. So it's just like I'm just 
Yeah, yeah, once, I, once I yeah, yeah I'm making my around, runs now. So get around, talk your shit. Get yeah, that. Uh, yeah. I got the stand up. I feel like I'm a respected stand up comedian hmm. in a small group in our circle. Yeah. In our circle, absolutely. Yeah, but I but I've been doing uh I did a comedy corner. You got to the comedy corner with okay. uh comedian Mel Harris. Yeah, I've been I, I was there and killed. Isn't I'm from Germantown. Okay, so it was just like okay, I'm going. That's if you saying. in Germantown, I'm going. I'm pulling up on you. Yeah. So I pulled up, killed that John, and saw another. Philly comedy is so It's so many It's, it's so, so many, many killers man And people you would sleep on yeah. That like uh, What's the guy name He he did your showcase to, uh, Danny Live mm-hmm. Yo I saw him a couple I'm not gonna lie I saw him a couple times And I didn't like him mm-hmm. But I, I went to I went to the uh, The uh, Lamar The one down Justin Lamar Justin Lamar mm-hmm. I saw He did a showcase At that joint And He offended everybody in there <laughs> <laughs> but he also made everybody laugh at the same time. Yeah. Like, he had his he worked that room. Mm. Like he had one point and I was like, that's not funny. But over other people was laughing. Yeah. He had some noise, but I was cracking up and other people was laughing. He yeah. had some, like he he just really He destroyed that whole room. Yeah. Do you think do you think that's like necessary these days? Like to to offend like I, I it seems he, like you almost have to offend people to even make any noise anymore. In, in certain like he He's not a TV friendly comedian. Like he would get canceled if he was ever like, <laughs> like he would def- he's definitely canceled. Yeah. Like he's definitely he would get canceled. But Cancel material. He's definitely he's a he's a necessary. He's necess- like if you like any if if you book him for a show, mm. like he's a good person to book for 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 a show. Mm. But like on TV, I don't know. He he would scare a lot of people with censors yeah. and stuff like that. And I think that would also stunt him as a comedian because his style is just so like. Uh, controversial. Mm-hmm. He's a controversial comedian, so okay. he's like funny though. Like I would definitely like if you doing a showcase, mm-hmm. a black. If you doing like a, bl- a room, like you gonna have a lot of black comedians there. Yeah. I mean, a black. Uh, you doing a, a show in a, a urban neighborhood? Mm-hmm. I would say, uh, book Danny Lock. Yeah, because he know. Because you have to attack people. You have to attack those black crowds. You have to like really that crowd work is so essential to the black crowds. I, I did. Uh, I did my cruise show. Uh, Chrome Shell Posse, my motorcycle club. Okay. With, with Nate the landlord. Um, we do like, two comedy shows every year. Mm-hmm. And they're they're ridiculous. I mean, we've been doing it for like 20 years. Yeah. Um, you get 700 people. Hit me up next year. I'm going I'm come. And uh, 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 what's the name of the place up there on Termitown Avenue? Treasures. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We put 700 people in church. Yeah. We feed them. Yeah. Open bar. Yeah. Place is madhouse. But it, it's, I mean, it's a turnout. You need any lob there that type of situation. It, it, I learned that <laughs> I'm a little too laid back for yeah, that crowd. No. Right? No. <laughs> you got to be on the ass. Because my audience in the seats, like, we was having a good time. Yeah. But I was, the place is so Big, so wild. many people. It's not, I mean, it's it's just wild. Because the, the bar line is always going. Yeah. There's 200 people it's in line at the on. bar. So they're they're having their own little conversation. Yeah. And if they can't hear you, they just gonna do their Keep thing. Talking. And then they get louder and louder. Yeah. And I was up I was up for about I was up for about ten minutes. I think fifteen minutes. Yeah. And like my first half was great. Yeah. But then as the, the crowd started getting a little over and it was just like I wasn't yeah. I lost them. Yeah, so like a comedian like this yeah, you definitely he make you scared you gotta, to move. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you yeah. gotta push it out <laughs> yeah. at him. Yeah. He make you scared to move because he yeah. like you like, is he gonna talk about me next? <laughs> like he listen, listen. He my first his first 30, 30 seconds, I hated him. He right. goes he came on the mic, he's like he was like, uh he said something about he was like he said a joke that day and like he was I know that wasn't he said uh I know that wasn't funny but a lot of the comedians that came up wasn't funny wasn't either funny. So I was Y'all can bear I was like Oh yeah. Yeah. I was so self-conscious About myself In that, in that second Like every, everybody If you was a comedian mm. At that moment You was You was like Oh shit That's funny as shit You was like He came at everybody He came at everybody In the joint Like You ready for competition? Uh, I'm about to sign up Yeah I'm ready for competition You, you gonna do our joint? Yeah Yeah That's the only I, I signed up for DC Uh, uh, Jordan ain't picked me up Alright uh, but I'm gonna do your drum. That drum, it's not. What you trying to do? You, you sign up for a festival? Festivals, yeah. is, festivals is. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, they are what they are. You know what I mean? Some of them is just money grabs. 
Because yeah. like there is no if you sign up for ours you win. Yeah. It's just it's not a it's not an application. It's yeah. an entry fee. It is what it is. Okay. Um. But yeah, we do. So we're doing a comedy crown. Um. Not sure how many rounds it's going to be yet. It's going to be determined by how many comedians we get. Um. But I mean, we got we got sponsorship from Cavassier. Yeah. Um. Seven hundred fifty dollars for first prize. Mm-hmm. We're paying all the way out the third prize. How do they work? Can you explain like the form? I, I never. <clears throat> my- I mean, everyone's different. Um, I haven't actually done a competition myself. We are we're producing this competition. Uh, so the way we're going to do it is is going to be uh, two judges and so and a crowd a crowd judgment. Don't go to Kahoot at every round. Uh, so you know for you know it'll be maybe 10, 12 comedians performing. The judges get a vote. The crowd gets a vote, and you move on to the next. You move on to the next round to okay. get to the finalists. Um, it's all gonna be over here at the same spot. The voice on Common Is the uh, how much? How much percentage is the? I think it's it's gonna be an even breakdown. Fifty fifty. Um, yeah, you know, one uh, an even breakdown between the judges and the, and the crowd. That way, you get to bring your people out. Your your audience has just as much influence as the judge does. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause it's, it's always tricky with these things because. You know, people bring people out. Yeah, you pack the house. Yeah, you pack. Like, yeah. some people can pack the house. Yeah. Some people, like, I, I'm, I'm familiar with, with, with how crowds act when they came for a certain person. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'm not, but it's just experience, though. Yeah. Bro, I mean, that's why we got judges, too. Yeah. Because we don't want it to just be like, well, you brought 40 people. <laughs> I mean, that's great for the bar. It's good. It's good and it's great the for the door. Yeah. But it's not fair for the comedians. Yeah. And as comedians, we wanted to, I mean, Honestly, we just wanted to be. We want the funniest person to win. To win, right? So right. you know, it's, it, that's why we have the judges because yeah. we don't want anybody to just mob the place and walk out with the money. Yeah, you know what I mean. That that's not cool. That's just what so, happens. Yeah, yeah. That, it, ha- it happens a <laughs> yeah. lot. So we're trying to do. We're trying to do it a little bit different. It's our first run, so hopefully we get it right. Um, but we want to do. Oh. We want to do at least twice a year. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, that's a that's a big move for y'all too. Yeah. That's because. A, a, a comedy yeah. tournament is, yeah. that's big yeah that's why we, that's why we're doing it yeah that's, that's why we're doing it. we got we got the perfect place for it yeah i saw and it was on no, instagram it's, it's, it's a it's, lot of like yeah there's no space. reason there's no reason not to not to take advantage of it yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and get it's gonna be in the spring right um we are taking we'll probably be we'll probably go for it in april or may right yeah but we're taking submissions through march 21st Neat. Um, it's 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 gonna be a lot of fun. Neat. We still working on some other prizes. I may shoot some video. Trying to, I don't know. They trying to talk me into shooting video, <laughs> giving every comic a video. And I'm like, yo, if we have 400 comics, right? That's a lot of video. That's what I. That's yeah. no. That's what I did when I remember that I had everybody. Did you get interviewed? Uh, I didn't get a chance to get interviewed. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I I know I know everybody everybody did talk to one. Yeah. Uh, but I um. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking more along the lines of the finalists. That'd be dope. Get videos. That'd you know what I mean? Maybe the maybe the final the final round at mm. 10, 12 comedians. Maybe they get videos. But like, if we got 300 comics, yeah. that's a lot of chopping. So we 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 still we still working out the details on that. But people are signing up. We, you talking about like personal interviews or just like no no like a, like your, uh, a, your set. A set. Oh yeah yeah like a set reel. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's 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 a lot of work. That's a lot of that's a lot twenty five dollars. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? It's almost it's almost like hey man editing yeah and then yeah. you got you gonna be here for hours. Yeah that's that's a lot of work. So we 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 gotta we gotta figure something out for that. But I, it's it's shaping up to be really dope. Yeah. I think I think you do well. Yeah. yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna come down there. Do my, is it any? Is it, is it clean? It's not clean. Is it? No, 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 no. Do your thing. Okay. Nah, cool. do your thing. That cool. was another thing I enjoyed too, man. Doing your show was clean. having to do a clean set. Yeah. That yeah. happened by accident too. Also, everything just been yeah, like fall like fall into place as far as that area. Mm-hmm. Like that happened by mistake because I got the room mm-hmm. and the stipulation for the room was I couldn't curse. Okay. So I'm like, okay, it just be. Clean. And what I found yeah. out was that not a lot of people do clean. Now it's picking up. Yeah. Now more people were yeah, picking people, up and doing. People recognize. Yeah, doing that, clean. Yeah. But yeah. I, to my knowledge, I was new at the time. I was the, one of the only people doing mm. uh, clean comedy showcases. That's not like gospel. That's not. Yeah, that's not in the yeah. church. Yeah. That's not. And you can still get a little bit funky with it as yeah. long as you like. Yeah, as long as you organize just, your words in the yeah. right way. Yeah. But to my knowledge, I was the only one doing clean uh, comedy. Shows. I'm gonna continue doing clean comedy shows. I'm. Yeah. It Come works. out with a uh, 
clean, uh, cleaning the shit after dark though. Hmm. Cause that, that ish, I, I, I put the ish <laughs> at the end of it so that it could leave room for yeah. this next uh, showcase that I'm about to put together. Okay. That might be coming in the fall or the summer. It all depends on okay. uh, when my taxes hit. So you know. <laughs> 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 That's what's up. It all depends on. Filed my taxes yet. You too I'm turned at, up. I'm acting like a baller. Yeah. Dang, I don't know where my W2 at. What y'all doing? I'm, I'm working drawing. at HR Block. <laughs> that's a whole different. Yeah. That's a joke. That's another. I got <laughs> a set on HR set. Block <laughs> that I've been working on. It's HR Block is like where, like, you know how when you work on, like, the employee, the atmosphere is every place is different as far as mm-hmm. the type of people they hire. So mm-hmm. HR Block, they, they really hire, like, like retired housewives or like you know what I'm saying over <laughs> over the hill strippers like over the hill strippers like, it's like I'm like the only guy working there Word. Like, and it's like you just people that never come out they only work for months out of the year right so like they be racking up doing these taxes so people making like $20,000 in like four months a couple doing months, yeah. yeah so they That's just crazy. be and there's just so much funny stuff that goes there uh-huh. goes on there the people are funny the types of people they, they hire there's funny you never yeah, gonna see nobody funny. This is comedy in itself. It's I'm like, sure, the, like the office. I just do a whole number. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a 65. She's like 60, but she got the fattest butt. <laughs> and it's sit. I'm talking about everything dragging except for that wagon. It's sit. It's sit. And it's like, Word. you ever see a butt that make you like, like you you don't like, you can't get your thoughts together. You just go up to her and say, where? I just be going up to her and saying, where is shit? Like, I would. I would you got a twin my age. <laughs> twin my age. Got a twin my age. <laughs> you from Liberia, ain't you? Oh man, you want to see our high school, our high school yearbook pictures? Yeah, and shit. <laughs> like you from Liberia, ain't you? you? Need a ride to my house? <laughs> I'm going that way. That's funny. It's just, it's it's so and it's different personalities in there. Yeah, it's comedies everywhere. Everywhere. Like it's like some the, the office, but right. the uh. I don't know, no benefits version. Like, if you, if, that's like, crazy. So, that's a lot of stuff sure. coming. I want to. That's why I asked you about the the, the video because I'm definitely. Yeah. I'm about to. You, uh, you ever heard of Philly Cam? Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm about to get with Philly Cam and I'm okay. about to do some work with Philly Cam because right. I want to expand. But I'm definitely looking forward. Yeah, they to got a nice. Show. They got a nice professional setup down there, man. You go down there, make some. You work with them before? Stuff. I haven't. I haven't worked with them, but I've been, I've been down there before. I know what they. I know what they. Philly Cam, Rec Philly is another one that that uh, you can work yeah, with. Yeah, I thought that, I thought that was for music though. Um, I'm I'm almost I'm almost certain they have that you could you can go down and do whatever the hell you want to do. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but it's it, either either way. They you go to Philly Cam, you gonna have a, a nice professional setup. You don't have to build yeah. your own shit like I did. Yeah, yeah. This is this is immaculate. This is I got oh, oh yeah, I got a couple years. Nah, man, it ain't it ain't that heavy. It ain't that heavy. Yeah. I'm just doing the most. Yeah. I had a third camera today. This is my first time using the third camera. Yeah. I figured, why not? I saw that when I, I give saw it this a one. shot. It was yeah. right there. I'm like, what's <laughs> going on? This yeah. is like, you know what happened, man? I was editing. I was editing. Uh, Mike was here. Uh, Salvi. Yeah, he was yeah. here. He was here Saturday. He got a, yo. He has an amazing voice, like a distinctive, like a yeah. distinct, like you know, it's him. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I can't explain yeah. it. Like he can definitely like that. He got a voice that can should be patent. Like, yeah. It's just like, a, <laughs> I'm like trying to get him. Laugh. I'm trying to get him back in a podcasting too. Yeah, he has he has a voice. Yeah, like he that. used he used to and he he fell out of it and I cussed him out while he was here. Yeah, I talked I talked about it. But um, he was here Saturday and I was editing his video last night and I like the the whole thing crashed. Damn. And I had to like start from scratch. But in the process of starting over again, I found an easier method yeah. to chopping all the video up, and it was it was so easy. I was like, I could add another camera, <laughs> like yeah. the way I was doing it before. Yeah. I was really torturing myself. Yeah. It turned it turned into something so simple. It's like, it was like a tech geek. yeah, I got I got add I got add another camera. Fuck yeah. it. So this is crazy. Yeah, it's, it it just takes time. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta you gotta keep in mind. I I always made music too. So the only thing I added to this. Was this mixer and the cameras? Right. Like I already had my, I already had recording software, I already had mics and stuff yeah. like that. Like I had some of that stuff already. But you don't need any of this stuff to get started. You don't. Nah. You don't I, I was with some. I did somebody with a podcast. Hmm. I did a podcast with someone else, and they just had a laptop, and hmm. they had like they had hmm. uh, 
something like this, but it wasn't as like you know mm-hmm. advanced. But they had something like this, and I was like, okay, I can do that. Yeah. Only thing that I wish uh, that I w- I wanted to add to mine was just to, I like the actually like the 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 seeing people concept of of a podcast mm-hmm. and. That's so many people talk. doing podcasts that are not com- that are, that are not comedians, <laughs> yeah. That are doing comedy that comedy uh, podcasts mm-hmm. though, and it's just like it's so it's just, hey, it's room man, it's room right it's right. Room. So hey. I'm I'm on it. I got I have a lot of stuff I have to do hey. as far as like expanding, like as far as planning and stuff like that, but. Hmm. This definitely was an eye opener for me just coming here. Nah, no doubt, man. I see you got the studio. Yeah. Yeah, I got the booth. Yeah. I got the booth. <laughs> you I got up. the booth. I do it all, you man. Drop a mixtape. Listen, yep. I'm about to come down here and drop a mixtape. I got some foam. I got to do the ceiling to cut some of the reverb out. I got the foam upstairs. I've been meaning to put that up for about two weeks. Yeah. I figured, why not, man? Can't listen, nobody stop me. If you want, listen, if you want to work on, like, anything, bro, like, right. far as just, like, just hit me up. Word, no doubt. Because like, I got scripts that I wrote. That's what's up. For movies, hey. stuff like that. I've been looking for somebody to shoot these drums, but right. I, I'm just a writer right now. Right. So I just write. That's why I'm doing Philly Cam because I got to get with some people who know how to shoot. Mm-hmm. And We can get busy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's trial and error. It's camp. Hey, that's all. What's the worst that can happen? That's all. And wait, <laughs> most of the trial's been done. Yeah. We can, there'll be, yeah. There'll be min- we can minimize the errors. We can yeah. get it done. Yeah, no doubt. So, yeah. Hey. Thanks for coming through, man. Yeah. I appreciate it, yo. Yeah. This was fun, man. This is fun. Yeah, we hey. gotta do this again. Yeah, I just, look forward to being on your podcast and your and your showcase again. You gonna, you gonna be listen. You, you gonna be, <laughs> man, I know you're interested. Because <laughs> listen, so listen, I hit some people up, mm. and he's like, no, I'm. You see people doing stuff. Yeah. On Instagram, yeah. and you be kind of like, and I'm probably like, that's probably. I hope that's the reason y'all haven't invited me to your show. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, yeah, I think I'm busy. Well. He busy. Yeah, he but busy. I definitely need like. I love Ha Ha Fire. Everybody know I love Ha Ha Fire. No that was doubt. the first people thought I was with Ha Ha Fire, ha ha fire. when I yeah, first came I out. That. <laughs> that. Like, so, that. so yeah. uh, yo, just hit me up. I I sure. come through. Bless y'all with ten with some ha- Prince, ha- with some Prince Jalil. With some Prince Jalil. No yeah, doubt. however long y'all want to do, y'all want me to host it, whatever. No doubt. Just let me know. Y'all That's owe y'all. Sure. A lot of free showcases. You guys did a lot of free stuff for me. So like, no doubt, <laughs> so, I got you, yo. Yeah. Um, thanks again for coming through. Yeah. Look, y'all, this has been the Yarnell Agenda. Uh, I'm your host, Lawrence Yarnell. That's Prince Jalil. Mm-hmm. I have no idea why I'm introducing ourselves at the end of the at show. The end, it's just it just is what it is. Because we're really friends, so it's kind of hard. Um, but I catch y'all in the next one. Yeah. And in the meantime, whatever you do, do good first. All right? Make sure y'all follow me. On Prince underscore Jalil <laughs> on Instagram. I'm funny on Instagram too. Do that too. Peace. Peace.